Hi, I'm Mary Roney. I'm a summer intern here at the Space Weather Center at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. And I'm Josh Bryan. And my name is Michael Romano, and we are two space weather forecasters. So on July 12th, there was a solar flare. Can you tell us what happened? Yeah, yesterday there was a solar flare, and as you can see here, we have two SDO imagery. We have the 193 Angstrom and the 335 Angstrom. And if you notice, there's a brightening of this region, active region 1520, and that is a sign of a solar flare that occurred. Now this particular solar flare was an X-class flare, and that's the strongest type of flare that we've measured. What are the impacts for Earth? Well, this X-class flare um, emits a lot of radiation. However, this won't affect us as people here physically on Earth. Um, what it will affect, though, is the communications between different radios and satellites in space. A particular concern here at the NASA Goddard Space Weather Center is the increase in protons coming towards Earth. As you can see, detected in satellite GOES-13, we have a significant increase in the proton flux. This proton flux has the potential to damage and make space weather spacecraft malfunction. Tell me about the CME that went with the flare. So if you notice here, again, we can show the solar flare that occurred, the X-class flare. And also there was a release of material known as a CME. And this CME was detected in stereo behind, the stereo behind coronagraph imagery, as you can see by this brightening and this big puff, this big burst coming out from the corona. Is it going to hit Earth? Often when CMEs occur, we use the stereo images, the coronagraph imagery, to derive parameters for where it's going to impact. This particular CME, we derive the parameters to be directed towards Earth, and it's going to have a speed of approximately 1,400 kilometers per second. We use them, those parameters to derive models. And here's the model for this CME. As you notice, there is a huge uh, mass headed towards Earth, Earth being this yellow dot here. And it is expected to arrive at Earth at approximately 9 or 10 UT tomorrow on Saturday the 14th. Now during this time, Earth is going to feel some geomagnetic storms. And interestingly enough, you may be able to experience some beautiful auroras. So go to our Facebook page and post a picture if you see an aurora. Thanks for watching. All of the data in this video is accessible from our integrated space weather analysis system located at iswa.gsfc.nasa.gov.